So, welcome back live from KubeCon. I'm actually at the GitLab booth right here. I'm here with Jason from GitLab. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm also the organizer of Kuray's Philly. And Jason, the, the other Jason sitting here, yeah. is also a Pennsylvania native uh, and came out to do uh, to do a Coop, Coop Philly recently uh, for GitLab. But one of the other projects we're working on is this little device over here running, you know, GitLab and K3S. It's an ARM device. So, Jason, could you tell us about what this is, the problem that's problem that's all solves, and, and you know how that's put together? Sure. So this is what we call Buzzcrate. It's a little bit of a play on words, but it's a multi-node ARM cluster that you can actually take around with you in a bag. This thing actually runs on enough power that you can do it off a battery if you really wanted to. Our intent is to actually provide a way to get a cheap competitive cluster, multi-node at that, that you can actually run on your desk, whether that's at home, whether you're a developer that's learning, whether you're in an enterprise environment where you have to be air-gapped or you have security concerns, or just you can't come up with $5,000 to put together a couple of servers so you can run Kubernetes on bare metal, Yeah. right? And let me point out that how much does it cost to run an actual full-size cluster in any cloud right now? Here's a hint. More than the $500 this will cost you to put together. All right. It's very straightforward. We're taking open source hardware. Okay. Right. So I've got boards from Labor Computer, 100% open source. Okay. They're running on ARM64 chips. So ARM V8, 64 bit capable, yep. which means that most of the computers that support ARM on Docker Hub will work on these. Okay. And then we've got the cases, right? Very very low cost. We've got a network switch that's built in here, and we've got a travel router actually stacked on top. Yeah. Now, why do we have all of those things? It's very simple, very straightforward. I want you to be able to use this, and I want you to be able to use it as a demo. The yeah. nice part is, I've got this hooked right now live to the conference Wi-Fi, and I can deploy charts using Helm into that. Oh, awesome. I'm not going to do that right now, because unfortunately, I don't have a hookup to the TV. All right. But we're planning to actually just enable people to actually explore the technology. Yeah. When we saw that K3S was coming, that Darren was beginning to work here, and yep. we started playing with K3S at like 04. Oh yeah, right. and you guys did a lot to help us find bugs in K3S. Yeah. We're definitely appreciative. Right, well, we were really just happy to have somebody looking at a more constrained environment because out of the box, most Kubernetes distributions take upwards of a gig per node. Yeah. So even if you get four gigs, you're still kissing one of a goodbye, yep. right? And these are two gigs of RAM, okay. right? I can't have a process eating a gig of RAM on a two gig of RAM node. Yeah. So the fact that I can run a master at 128 and a worker at a little less than that works for me. Awesome. Now I can build, this one is a four node cluster. I can build it with a three node. I can build it with a five node. What do I want to do to, to fill out my switch? Well, I can do it extremely cheap, extremely accessible, because these are off the shelf parts. I have a bomb list that will actually give you a link to all of the Amazon links where to buy all the parts. Okay. And the last time I checked, it was about $478. Okay. All the parts shipped. So open source hardware, open source software, you know, commodity price stuff. Mm -hmm. What if somebody wants to either contribute to the project or find out more about it? Right, so if you go to gitlab.com slash buzzcrate, that's buzzcrate, C-R-A-T-E, you'll find a manifest that actually has all of our bill of materials, what the intents of the project are, as well as Ansible playbooks so that you can actually do this deployment right after doing a fresh flash on the host that you actually put together. Awesome. And it will work on any ARM V8 port, so if you're using Raspberry Pi, use a three or a four, or any of the stuff that's put together in the ARM V8 line from Libra Computer or even Hard Kernel. We also have a one, this one is Libra okay. and we have another one that is Hardgate. Okay. Right? Yeah. So we have two open source manufacturers that are then turning around and we're building clusters out of them. Nice. And no matter which one you buy, it's still sub $500. Awesome. Business, Fortune 1000, Fortune 500, the line item for an expense. It's usually around the 500 mark. Yeah. This costs you maybe two monitors, and it's a lot cheaper than a laptop, let alone a laptop capable of running multiple VMs to run Kubernetes as a true cluster. Absolutely. I can take this with me anywhere. Well, see, I walked by, I saw it running, I'm like, oh, we have to talk about that. That's a really cool project. Right. So, so 
Jason, thank you for coming on. Yeah. It's good to see you again. Live from KubeCon. Till the next episode.